Hello guys, welcome back to my Jack 3 Let's Play. In the last episode we finished off some racing missions and we collected some artifacts in the wasteland. And to start off this episode we are going to be talking to Cleaver. Okay, let's see what he wants. You guys looking for a bit of action? The scope shows a group of metalheads moving through the desert not too far from here. I don't like metalheads almost as much as I don't like you. And you've got some proving to do. Intercept those bad boys and give them hell. Who knows, you might even get a few toys for your effort. Why does it sound like you're leaving out the dangerous parts? Jack, I'm getting some nasty juju vibes here. I don't have these whiskers for nothing, you know. Relax, we could handle a few metalheads. Have you ever seen a wasteland metalhead? No, why? Nothing, just wondering. Go get them, heroes. <laughs> Okay, we're no longer using this runt here, the Doom Buggy. Yeah, we're going to be using this now, which is the Sand Shark, which is a really great. It's got a weapon on it, look. Yeah. Now, what we're going to be doing this mission is hunting down some Melheads. So they're kind of like some dinosaur old Melheads with a cannon strapped to their back. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just so glad these Melheads, when in the end of Jack 2, when the Shield Wall was down, I'm glad these Melheads didn't come and attack Haven 6. If they did, Haven 6 would not have been standing for long. Tell you that much. Okay, it's good. There's about four of these big melheads. The waist down melheads are much bigger than the melheads you see outside Haven City and we saw in Jack 2. These melheads are much bigger and much more dangerous. And these melheads here that just prove that melheads in this get in the future world are just way more dangerous than lurkers. Okay, if we head over here now we get lost for it. Things like you don't want to get too close to small heads because whack is if you get too close they can stamp on your vehicle and take away a lot of damage and take away a lot of health if not all of your health. And if you're too close to them they run into you, they will send your vehicle flying like that. Oh. They didn't send my vehicle flying there, I won't try and demonstrate it, but I thought I was gonna get sent flying then because I was really close to them, but no. Also keep look out for his cannon because he shoots out like these dark eco balls I guess, they can cause some damage as well. That's him gone, there's just two more halfway there. Let's go find the last one. Uh, uh, ah, there you are. Whoa! Whoa. I, thought I, was gonna, I thought I was gonna get crushed then, but no. Nope. Yeah, that's the only problem with mission. If you get stuck under the vit, under the metal head and he steps on you, it's possible we could take away all your health. So just be a bit wary of that. Just to keep it it's best to keep your distance from him. I was lucky, I'm not dead yet, that's good. Come on. Dead yet, yeah, we're all good. Okay, just one more melhead now. Now, this melhead likes to trick you a bit. He will fake himself dying, but he actually doesn't. You'll see what I mean by that in just a minute. Let's take him out. You'll we'll see him fall to the ground, but the second he falls to the ground, he'll get back up, basically, and just start running around again. As we demonstrate right here, when that happens, for example. Whoa, whoa. Come on, yeah, come on. Right, come on. Right, he's falling down. He's gonna get back up in a minute. There he goes, he's gonna try and he's gonna run straight in your direction. See? There we go down for the count. Hmm, very interesting. Yeah, that is a very familiar face. I'm not going to tell you who it is. I'm not going to spoil anything for you. Now, these Marauders now, I can take them out with my gun. Ah, that's me. Boom. You guess people who every time you take them out. Yeah, I'm not going to say who that guy was. I'm not going to spoil anything. He's a very familiar face, I'll tell you that much, but I'm not going to spoil who he is. It is someone we've met before in the Jack and games, but I'm not going to spoil who it is. He was someone in the last game. I'm not going to spoil who it is. Okay, let's head in here now. 
I said to Damus now and see what he wants. Shame I don't have the jet ball yet. Yeah, the jet ball really comes down in this game. I love using the jet board in this game when we get hold of it. There's a particular cheat you can unlock where the jet hover the hoverboard will go really fast in the desert and it feels so fun to do. It's so fun to ride around the desert in the hoverboard once you've unlocked that cheat. Once I've got that cheat, I don't even bother taking the vehicle into waste and I'll just ride my hoverboard into the desert. It's, that's how fun it is. If we head round here, head up here. I got him, I actually got it. Dark Eco. Yep, I could do some Dark Eco. Get set in here now where we get a new weapon mod. The second we get up here, it's a weapon mod we've not seen yet. This game has three times more weapon than Jack 2. So Jack 2 had four weapons, and Jack 3 you get 12 weapons, and you'll we'll get a new weapon we've not seen yet. Let's talk to Davis. Once again, you must test your fighting skills in the arena. Face down your fears, defeat those who oppose you, and we will see if your skills are of use to us. The purity of the arena is our only guide. Excuse me, um, Mr. Sand King? Yes, I'd like to place a complaint. We've been training hard. My feet are killing me, and I think I'm getting a hangnail. So maybe I'll just sit this one out. Enough talk. The arena awaits. Nice, we now have the wave concussor. Which is basically not great to the scatter gun, it's pretty awesome as well. You charge it up and it basically sends like a activates like a force field, I guess. A red eco force field or something like that. Okay. I'm just gonna head around here quick so there are some precursor orbs located in Damus's place. I'm just gonna quickly collect them. Oh, as always guys, like in Jack 2, I'm not gonna be completely going 100 percent I'm not gonna be collecting every single precursor, but I'm only gonna be collecting like, some of them. Of course, Jack, Jack 3 has about t over twice as many more precursors than Jack 2 had. So I'm not good with every single one, of course. If you want to know where every single precursor orbs are, look up Super Saiyan Paul's precursor orb guide. That's the best way to know where the precursor orbs are. If you want to know where the precursor orbs are, just look that up. Yeah, it's much easier than this. If you're watching my videos to know where the precursor orbs are, I'm not a good guy to watch for that, unfortunately. Just letting you guys know I've not got the Platinum Trophy in Jack 3 either, like in Jack 2, because I've not found it in the Curse Orbs. There's got to be another Curse Orb around here, I swear there is. Ah. There it is. I knew there was one around here somewhere. I'm just going to check there's none around here quick. No, I think that's all of them. I think. Okay. I've got 9 Precursor Orbs, which is great. I'm not going to upgrade the weapons yet. I'll check. Once I've done this mi this arena mission, I'll check out the secret to see what I've is see if the we some weapon upgrades are available. Let's hope they are. Let's head to the Spargus Arena now and take on the second Arena Challenge. I love the I love the the Arena Challenge this game. They really do remind me of Ratchet and Clank. This game's the gun combat in this game is definitely not as great as Ratchet and Clank's, but I do think that Jack Free's weaponry's definitely the weapons you get in Jack Free definitely make this game feel a bit more tactical. Get us head up here now. Okay, so before we take on the Spargus Arena though, I want to head up here quick and grab some Precursor Orbs. There's one behind Damus's chair... Nearly for died then. And there's no Precursor Orb right there. Only if we could go in there and see what's in there. No Precursor Orb, nearly missed that one. Okay, let's head down here now. And let's take on the next wave of enemies. Let's activate this and get some Dark Eco. Summon Dark Pad. And instantly we've already got the Dark Bomb. Nice. Boom. It's just as satisfying as it was in Jack 2. <laughs> oh, I do love it. Oh, I love the Dark Bomb. Glass is the same as Jack 2. Just spam the back down the shoulder. I'm going to demonstrate the Wave Concussor. Boom. Yeah, we are pretty much the same. We could take out multiple enemies as well if you use it correctly. It's really awesome. Get the lava. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna head over. Yeah, now I am. Ooh. He's dead, he's dead. 
this vehicle. I love the blast up. Once we completed this particular arena battle, you get you unlock another weapon mod. It's basically an upgrade of the blast. We unlocked the upgrade of the scatter gun before this. We get another blast or weapon mod upgrade in just a minute once we complete this. And once we, when we do, we get a weapon called the beam reflex. It's basically the blaster, but when you shoot the weapon, it can bounce off walls and stuff like that. And it's it's probably even more overpowered. I said in Jack 2 how the blaster was a bit overpowered in some places, but in Jack 3, the beam reflex, there's a game that's probably just twice as more overpowered. I'll show you what that is. All right. I can't believe you two are still alive. Yeah, what a surprise. Demos and I are very impressed. Hey, Featherbutt, who appointed you king? He did. Well, almost. Kind of a semi-king. You know, you should see our sleeping quarters and his harem of lovebirds. Oh. I never get any sleep these days. <laughs> it's good to be the king, no? I don't see no crown on that fat feather head. You want a crown? I'll crown you. Don't make me come down there from this perch. I got a perch for you, birdie, right here. Twirler. That's it. It's go time. Bring it on, bird brain. Enough. If I wanted you to fight, I would have commanded it. You did very well, Jack. You make me proud that our training program is so good. Here is your second battle amulet and a new weapon mod. One more arena win, and you will be a true wastelander. Okay, now we've got the beam reflexor, which is very awesome. It's basically like the blast up. Yeah, I'll demonstrate here. I'll shoot out the wall here and back. The ammo bounces everywhere basically and it's so overpowered. <laughs> to be fair, the enemies you do get in this game are definitely more... You do get some stronger enemies in this game than you did in Jack 2, so... I guess I can't call it too overpowered. If this if this weapon was in Jack 2, it definitely would have made the game a bit over... The Bing Reflexor definitely would have been really overpowered if you could use it in Jack 2. I could take that much. Okay, let's head to Cleaver again now. I think we've got time for one more mission before we end the episode off. If we head up here and... Oh yeah, I did say I was going to check up the cheat secrets menu, see if any cheats are now available. No, no precursor pin in there. Oh, there is a precursor orb up here. Like, let's grab it. Yes, 13 orbs. Hmm, let's see what we can buy before we do the next mission. Secrets. Oh, scattergun rate of fire. That's what we need. That would be awesome. And a blaster damage upgrade. Alright, we'll do with that as well. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's head into the garage now and let's go get see what the next mission is. Hey guys. Damus has a job for us, but I'm no babysitter, so stay out of my way. Jack's not afraid of you! Are you Jack? If you knew what was happening out here, you'd be afraid, alright. What's going on here? Nothing, your lordship. Just old friend Jack and the little one here. Some healthy advice. You have a reputation for being rash. Didn't your father ever tell you to pick your battles wisely? I didn't know my father. My point is, sometimes you face your enemy head on, and sometimes you wait until his weakness is revealed. Patience is a warrior's greatest weapon. Do you understand? Jack, I want you and Cleaver to go into the desert and herd a group of lizards into a waiting transport. We must prepare for whatever lies ahead. I need all the resources we can gather. No problem. I'm good with animals. I'll see you out there. Ciao. <laughs> okay, let's go now. We're gonna head to this place where loads of Libras hang out with Damus wants all the resources he can gather. He knows the other world is coming. Sort of. Yeah, he don't. he's prepared. I just love how much Spargus, how much prepared, more prepared Spargus is in Haven City, and I'm in a right collision course here. Destruction Derby in the wasteland. Yeah, as I was saying, I just love how Spargus is more prepared for like when Melheads attack their city, unlike Haven City. It just shows how much Spargus is more prepared for anything. The quality of life in Haven City is definitely much better, but in Spark, I definitely prefer Spark just because of how it just feels more safe there. It just feels more. You definitely feel like you're going to survive like a melhead attack more there or whatever. Get us head over here now and let's get these leaping lizards. Ah. Gee, every time I come out in the wasteland, 
mostly you will get Morales after you. Okay, let's find a Leaper Lizard. Where is it? Just one over these and get rid of them. Uh, I think they do respawn quite a lot as well. Okay, um, where are they? Drive up close to a Leaper. Of course, this soundtrack is back. You, me you remember this soundtrack that appeared when we raced Seam on the Leaper, on the leaper Lizard? Yeah. This song is back in this mission as well. She needs to find where a Leaper is. Where are they? They're hiding from me today. My reckless driving continues. Ah, there's one or two. Get it closer. Oh, sir. Nice. Oh, I only just avoided that. We need to be careful when riding a leaper with Daxter because if even if Daxter, if you hit bump into something once, As I was saying, if Dax bumps into a Catus or a wall once when he's running a Leaper, the Leaper will die instantly, like that. If you hit, if you run into a Catus, the same thing will happen. Okay, let's go find another Leaper, I'll just demonstrate what happens. Ah, there's one. Ah, no, come on. Get closer. Yeah. Okay, she needs to get forward. Okay, I need to get in here. That is leaper number two. Piece of cake, baby. Okay, there's another leaper. Now I just need to find one more leaper, and then we can end this mission off. I remember playing this mission quite a lot in the first place. Every time I jumped on it, Dax had jumped on leaper, I'd always go out of control with it and bump into a wall or something like that. Yeah, Dax goes pretty fast on Leaper, but sometimes it can be tricky to control when you first play it. Okay, let's get on it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. As I said earlier, I'm not doing the precursor or walkthrough. I'm not finding every single precursor orb in the game. If you want to know where the precursor is, I'll look up Super Saiyan Paul's precursor guide now. I'll show you where the precursor orbs are located. Admit, you got some talent, kid. Have another one of me vehicles. You earned it. Damn straight. Would it be too much to ask for a foot rub? Uh. No, nope, didn't think so. <laughs> Cleaver's not fond of Dax, or is he? Okay, well now we've unlocked the Dune Harper. Which probably, I'm not gonna say it's my favourite vehicle in the game, but I actually really like it. We. <laughs> Okay guys, I think I'm going to end this episode off here. Thank you. We have got a long mission coming up. Hang on, have a look. Yeah, we do. Okay guys, I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to save... There's another mission I'm going to do in the next episode. The next mission I want to do is actually really lengthy. It'll probably take a whole episode to do, so I'm going to save that for the next episode. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to hit the like button. So that really helps my channel. You have no idea. Alright, next episode, we're going to be exploring the volcano. It's going to be something very interesting in there as well. Uh, I hope to see you guys then. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please be sure to hit the like button. That really helps my channel. This is Goldie X and I'm out.